Welcome to the MCM Learning Hub, and today we will continue our journey into the fascinating world of research with our lesson, Inconsistency of Statements in a Research Problem. The identification of the research problem is the most difficult and important part in the whole research process, that is according to Kerlinger and Lee in the year 2000. And according to Jacobs, a clear, precise, and well-structured problem statement leads to quality research. A research problem exists when there are conflicting statements or inconsistent evidence concerning an issue being studied. For example, some research findings showed that humorous illustration had a positive effect on reading motivation, while other findings indicated a negative effect. Meaning to say, the research problem is embedded in the inconsistency of evidence or conflicting statements. Moreover, to investigate this problem, the research is conducted to examine the effect of humor illustration on reading motivation. If all statements concerning an issue are consistent, compatible, and not in conflict with each other, then the issue is not a problem. Additionally, a problem also exists when there are incompatible theories <coughs> related to an issue. For example, a theory states that income is a factor of work satisfaction. A high income worker will enjoy high satisfaction. However, a researcher observed that in practice, some high income workers suffer low levels of work satisfaction. Therefore, a problem clearly exists because theory and practice are inconsistent. Due to insufficient data and research evidence, the researcher conducts a study to examine whether there is a relationship between income and work satisfaction in his target population and to determine whether the relationship is positive or negative. It must be pointed out that a research problem is a problem faced by the researcher concerning an issue being studied and is not a problem faced by the research subject. To summarize, a research problem occurs when inconsistency and conflicting statements between opinions, past research findings, theories, or practices exist. Thank you, and that concludes our lesson for today. I hope you learned something about the inconsistency of statements in a research problem. Thank you for joining me, and stay tuned for more lessons on research. See you next time.